everybody. My name is AJ, and I'm here with vapedeals.ca. Right now, we are at CVE in Mississauga for the Vape Expo. I'm here with Joe and Brian with Marco Polo Vape Co. Guys, welcome to the Expo. Thank you so much for doing the interview with Vape Deals. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for seeing us. So tell us a little bit about Marco Polo as a company. What do you guys do? What, what's it all about? So uh, we're obviously a, a, a Canadian-based uh, company. Uh, it was first uh, when we first started in, in the industry. Uh, Brian is and Aaron are the owner of a very reputable vape shop, uh, myself as well. And uh, we basically joined forces uh, to create Marco Polo. And the whole idea behind the company was uh, to create a, uh, a very nice, clean-looking brand that has a story in behind it. And uh, uh, Marco Polo was the perfect platform. Uh, we basically release flavors, and uh, every flavor is based on a very significant year in Marco Polo's journey. So people can, um, we, you know, not just experience the flavors, but experience the story and, and, and the journey of Marco Polo himself. That's really cool. I'm going to bring this over to Brian now. So Brian, with the Marco Polo theme of the brand, why is the Marco Polo name so important? Um, it just kind of started off as a, as a funny thing because Joe's Italian, I'm Chinese, and the other partner is also Chinese as well. And it kind of came together. Uh, Joe just, or the Italian, coming into China and uh, you know experiencing his travels. And it kind of worked. And we wanted to bring that, that travel experience and bringing new flavors and experiences to our customers as well. That's an amazing story. And I also really enjoy the Marco Polo travels. It's a significant part of history, such an influence. So how has the Marco Polo brand influenced the flavors that you pick for your vapes? Brian, you can take this one. Oh, Brian, <laughs> it's up to you. It doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really inspire the flavors. Only the, only the naming mostly, uh, the naming conventions. So each flavor that we release, it, it is named after um, one of the milestone years of his travel. So for example, our first flavor, the inaugural uh, flavor is 1271, which marked the year that Marco Polo left Venice for China. Um, and then when he landed three years later, it became 1274. So 1274 is the, uh, the new flavor that we've launched at CVE Toronto this year. Um, it should be on store shelves this coming week. Um, so far, our first two releases are juicy fruit flavors, and they've been extremely well received so far. That sounds amazing. So speaking of juicy fruit flavors, tell us a little bit about this new flavor, 1274, right? Or 47? 74. Okay, so 1274. What's, what, what flavors are we talking about here? So it's... Uh the, the three main flavors that you, you get when you vape it is uh, it's a combination of passion fruit, white grape, and uh, crispy pear. So it's uh, extremely fresh. Uh, we also have uh, a 1274 winterized version of that. So you get a nice um, a bit of a mintier inhale and stuff like that. But it, it's very crisp, very clean. And so far, it's been extremely well received at the show. So we're very, very excited about that. That sounds awesome. That sounds like a combination that I'm probably going to take to a bubble tea shop or something. <laughs> so, any plans for the future besides this in regards to flavors? or things that people should be looking forward to in the future for Marco Polo? Uh, things are under wraps at the moment. Uh, I know our first two releases are fruit flavors. Um, we do have fans that like more savory flavors, so we are working on some of those as well. Um, we can't really say what's going to be released at this time or when, but hopefully soon. Amazing. I just want to say thank you, Joe. Thank you, Brian, for the interview with vapedeals.ca. You heard it from us first, guys. <laughs>